Hey there, team. Thank you so much for being a subscriber on the MKM email newsletter list. I was thinking about today's message and sending you with some positive vibes, some high vibes before you go out into the weekend. And a message that came through me earlier this week as I was journaling was something I thought I needed to share with you. And I shared this already with my Evolve group participants, but I thought this is probably something that my followers would all get insight and value from. And again, as you head out into the weekend, it's very timely. So this will be short, but I swear if you listen through the whole thing, it's going to be impactful. So let's start with a story. Earlier this year, I knew that I had this shift that was going to happen. I could just like feel it, you know, when you're on the cusp of a change and the things that you're doing just don't, they're not wrong. They don't feel bad, but they don't feel right. Have you ever had that feeling? And so I, I felt that at the beginning of 2022, and I didn't know what that would look like by the time I got to year end. I didn't know the exact steps that I would take, but I knew that somewhere in this next calendar year, a shift was going to take place because I could feel it in myself. And then as opportunities came to me throughout this year, I said yes to a lot of things. And I thought, maybe this is that shift that I've been looking for. So there have been self-help books that I've picked up and started. There have been programs that I signed up to take and didn't finish yet. There have been things I promised to myself that I would follow through with. There have been committees I've been a part of. There have been obligations that I said, I would be, I would be present for, but somewhere along the line, I didn't finish it. Now, if you are someone who is into energy like me, I've learned about myself along the way that my human design is a manifester. And as part of my manifester energy, I am someone who gets a lot of Input, I get a lot of creative ideas that are meant to initiate. They're meant to get the ball rolling. And sometimes I'm meant to do that. Sometimes I'm just meant to share that idea. And then someone else is meant to take that on and go forth with it. But as a manifester, like somewhere, it's probably like late spring, early summer this year, I learned about human design and I learned that this is my gift. My gift is to get these ideas, share them with others, and then we run with them. And so part of this opening of loops, as I've come to call it, is that I am meant to do that. I'm supposed to start things. And some of these things will be the things I'm supposed to finish. And some of them are things that other people are meant to kind of like, I'm the, I'm the one who starts the relay race with the baton, but then the baton gets passed. I'm not the anchor. I'm the one who begins. And so with that understanding, I was journaling earlier this week. And I felt like I have so many things that I'm feeling like discomfort and, and shame around right now. Cause I'm like, I said, I would do this, but I haven't finished it yet. Or I began this thing and it's still left undone. And I had this like inner knowing in, as I was writing in my journal and the inner knowing said, you need to close those loops that you've opened. Have you ever had like all of a sudden you have that conscience or that inner voice that's like, oh, where did that come from? That's how I felt in this moment. And I was like, you know what? This is, this is right. There are things that I've said yes to that years ago that maybe just don't align anymore. Or maybe there are programs that, you know what, if I just stayed committed, I need, it would be good for me. And so I need to see those through the end. But my message was that I need to begin closing some loops. And that doesn't mean it has to be done today or this week. It just means that I need to start that process of being aware of where I've left loops open so that I can close them. 
And if we think about this process of looping, like if we look at it like this, we always have loops, right? So maybe there's like a part, we, maybe we volunteer for a committee and we start off and we're very active and then we finish a project so the loop closes. And then maybe that committee doesn't have a term length and so you start another project and it closes. And so there might be loops like that. There might also be like a one-time loop. So it's a 12 week, week program, you started it strong and then three weeks in you're like, I don't have time for this. So that loop never got closed. You're stuck right here. So what about like an inverted roller coaster? What would happen if you got in the little train car and you put on the harness and you got buckled in and it was like, oh, the anticipation, the anticipation. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is getting so fun and I'm going up the loop and it's about to take me upside down. And I know that it's going to be uncomfortable for a little bit, but as soon as I come back down the other side, there's going to be a rush of energy and excitement. And I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting and great. For the record, I don't love roller coasters, but bear with me. So if we start that loop, but we're stuck right here, we still got the anticipation of what's to come. But we don't have the enjoyment. We don't have the momentum. We're still trying to climb that circle. So if we can give that just a little bit more push to the apex, we're gonna start seeing the momentum that can help us complete the loop until it's finished. So as you go into the weekend, I know I have a lot of loops that I have open that I need to close. They might be yard work. <laughs> I did some yard work in the spring, you know, summer happened and now I still need to like do that autumn trimming before we go into winter. Maybe for you, it's professional obligations. Maybe it's personal obligations, but I'd be willing to bet every single person who watches this video has a loop, one or more, that is currently open. You are on that roller coaster. You had excitement at the beginning of the ride, but somehow the train car stalled out and you didn't even get to the apex because it got really hard. You know, it took a lot of energy to get to this far. Like it's gonna take a lot more energy to continue that climb. But I promise that once you get to that apex, the momentum carries and then you gain speed, you gain exhilaration and excitement and that loop closes and you can go on to the rest of the roller coaster track. This can be applied to life. It can also be applied to your marketing. It can be applied to various areas in your small business. But my challenge for you is what are those loops that you can identify that are currently open? And what are some actions you can take to begin the process of closing them? That's a very masculine energy approach. Um, but if you want more of a feminine approach, sit in that feeling of those open loops. What are the ones that make you the most comfortable or uncomfortable? And what are some ways that you can process through so that the loops aren't left stalled out in the side of the, of the inversion? Okay. If you have questions, if you have some loops that you need help with accountability on, we do have a couple of programs that would probably help you with this. If social media is the hard part for you, we have social by MKM, which is currently in the registration phase for the November class session. In November, we are focusing on making better graphics. So next week, we are delivering from November 1st to November 4th, 10-minute trainings that will help you throughout your graphic and throughout your photo and video creation process. So we're going to talk about things like color psychology, rule of thirds, um, just like design 101 that can help really really create that uplifted, elevated presence that you're looking for. And then in subsequent weeks, we're going to have one training per week. That'll be 45-ish minutes on uh, various aspects of visual creation. We'll have a Canva-specific training. We'll have a video and photo-specific training. And we'll take off that week of Thanksgiving because I want you to have time. So 
with the November session, you not only get these trainings, you also get access to our Facebook group, our MKM video training library. If there are other parts of the social media marketing process that you want insight into, you also have access to me in a Q&A session. Plus you can ask me questions anytime. But for a lot of you who are looking to create that elevated aesthetic and that like visually pleasing, differentiating factor that makes you stand out and be a scroll stopper online, November's social session might be what you're looking for. And right now there's a reduced rate if you're going to take November and December in social. December, we're going to focus really on accountability and staying to your goals through the busy holiday season. So instead of 222 per each month registration, if you register for November and December, you'll get both months for 333. So there is that. We also just wrapped up Evolve, which was our Instagram 2.0, two week long training session. And it was the best. Like I'm like, it was in my top one or two programs I've ever led. And so this is not currently available for those of you who weren't in the actual live delivery, but it will be upcoming in the next month. So keep your eye out if you want to up-level your Instagram in specific. Evolve was, I can't even, I can't even bring words to it. And I know that the members, the, the feedback is mutual, that we all had this universal, like, oh my gosh, this was awesome experience. So that will be coming in November. It's not available yet. If you're looking for that support in your marketing and you want to close out some of those, I know I'm going to do better in my marketing in 2022 loops, social by MKM might be the thing for you. So check that out in the bottom of this message. And thank you so much for being here. I'll be back next week with an exclusive message just for you guys, my MKM email subscribers.